Yo, what is up? Day 65. How's it going? It's a good day. Today was a rest day. There's a big storm coming in, but right now it's super sunny on my drive in. So that's nice. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. Like I get to enjoy a little bit of the sunshine, but then it's going to rain and I love the rain and I love being inside and having to, you know, like you're working, you're on the computer, you're watching something, but it's raining. It feels like you're doing the job that you should. It's like childhood trauma. Like I wouldn't get in trouble if it was raining for playing video games or watching movies, which is what I love doing growing up. So it's like this weird ingrained thing in my mind. Like when it rains, I feel peace and joy, which is funny because most people it's like depressing to them. So I'm kind of thankful that it's the opposite for me. It's fun. Yeah. So today's a rest day. Last night I did end up going and doing an ice plunge and uh, sauna, which was good. I want to measure the temperature and figure out what it is because it came out of the spigot. So it's, I don't know, 40 some degrees, low 50s or something. So it's still a good chill. Um, I don't know if I need to be in the 30s per se. I should probably look it up a little bit more. I have a better sense of what temperatures are useful. But, you know, It's a fun experience. The dopamine hit and then the sauna with the, so it's like the constricting of all your pores and uh, capillaries and then the opening up of all of them in the sauna. So kind of some counter heat therapy, some cryotherapy and some heat therapy, which I'm told is good for the body. So we'll get that. We'll use that as much as we can. I own the ice plunge or the ice bath and then my friends own the, sauna so i think they'll be picking it up in a few weeks so trying to get a little bit of good use out of it to improve longevity improve how i feel again the dopamine hit with the ice plunge is good for you good for your brain and with the adhd brain dopamine is low so the noise to floor ratio is hard to deal with essentially the noise is really high so your focus is kind of amidst the noise and what like a stimulant or an Adderall will do or like, you know, caffeine or other medication will raise your, raise your focus essentially out of the noise. So you still have the noise, but your focus is raised out of it. So you have a better job of focusing and thinking clearly or like a depressant, like honestly, like alcohol or THC or whatever will lower that noise floor. But that's not a great mechanism to use. You don't want to ever have to be dependent on a substance, even Adderall or caffeine. So that's why this week I am deloading from the caffeine. So just about zero caffeine every day. I've I've had a little, I've had like a Coke Zero, which is like 45 milligrams. So like half a cup of coffee, just because going from like 800 milligrams down to nothing, I tend to get headaches. So I haven't gotten a headache yet, and today I think I'm going to be zero caffeine, so we'll see how that goes. Kind of reset the brain, reset the body, reset the tolerance level. That's kind of key, because as I get more tired and I use more caffeine, the tolerance goes up, and I don't want that. I don't want, I don't want to be more tolerant, so it's good to, to reset when I do uh, a deload week, and that's what we're doing here. So deload, just meaning... Uh, we do a little bit lighter volume or a little bit less volume, a little bit lighter weight to help the central nervous system and just your overall muscles and body to recover, to have like zero fatigue essentially. And then we're jumping into the next block in this workout uh, phase next week. So uh, I think it's higher volume and higher intensity. So we're going to be pushing and going harder. And uh, yeah, take a little take a little break before you get that going. So it'll be good. I'm getting into work early today. It's been a crazy week, but today with Wednesdays, I don't wake up and train, so I can still sleep in till like six, and then get up, get around in the morning, get ready, and head in and be in at what seven thirty or whatever. So a whole hour early, which is nice. Sleep in an hour late, get in an hour early. It's pretty great. So I did get my sleep tonight, last night. I think I got it the night before too. Hit my sleep goal, which is pretty amazing. 
So that's a, another part of my health journey is to try to hit that, those sleep goals, try to get, you know, my primary goal is like eight hours, but if I get at least seven, I feel pretty good. So eight hours, I feel like I'm recovering seven hours. I feel like I'm maintaining. So the goal is always a little bit more, which is nice. So yeah, that's what we got going on today. What do I have like one production meeting this afternoon? A lot of time to get some good work done. So I really need to lean into that. Get some good work done today. It's nice to be able to front load the work in the week to try to get through difficult things earlier in the week. Cause then later in the week you can, I don't know, it's more enjoyable. You can watch, uh, or watch. There was a billboard that had something with AMC or watching stuff on it. You can do the more kind of working on the business, enjoyable work versus the ticky tacky working within the business type of work. So, um, yeah, try to front load it. It's, it's also why like in a workout, I want to move like a bench press to the first move because I'm going to have the greatest strength for the, the biggest move. At least report it in. Ooh, tricky, tricky. I don't know if they're there. Start with like a bench, do the most difficult move. You have the most strength for it. And then, you know, if you do two or three different exercises for a muscle group in a certain uh, particular session, that last one can be fly or cable or bands or something. So you're pretty fatigued and lighter weight with a um, maybe more complex move can be uh, really great, really fatiguing at the end of the workout instead of saving your bench till the end when you're very tired. So that's what I like to do. That's how I like to program these things. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's what we got for today. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you guys have a great one. We'll be back again tomorrow for day 66, which is two thirds, two thirds of the way. Yay. Um, all right. Do good. Be great. See you next time. Sayonara. Bye.